Hey guys you're watching Dogdingda Doberman Pinscher's surprising facts and informational video. Let's see what we can discover about the Doberman Pinscher dog. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become a part of our notification squad. About the Doberman Pinscher breed. Sleek and powerful. Possessing both a magnificent physique and keen intelligence, the Doberman Pinscher is one of Dogkind's noblemen. This incomparably fearless and vigilant breed stands proudly among the world's finest protection dogs. Dobermans are compactly built dogs muscular, fast, and powerful standing between 24 to 28 inches at the shoulder. The body is sleek but substantial, and is covered with a glistening coat of black, blue, red, or fawn, with rust markings. These elegant qualities, combined with a noble wedge-shaped head and an easy, athletic way of moving, have earned Dobermans a reputation as royalty in the canine kingdom. A well-conditioned Doberman on patrol will deter all but the most foolish intruder. Doberman Pinschers are the fifth smartest dog. According to a study carried out by canine psychologist Stanley Corin, Dobermans are the fifth smartest dog. This is after the Border Collie, Poodle, German Shepherd and Golden Retriever. The research was based on the breed's ability to learn a new command and obey it. On average they learn five times faster than other breeds and can learn up to 50 words of the human language. While they do need a firm handler and to know who's in charge, if handled properly, Dobermans are generally easy to train because they aim to please their owner. Doberman Pinscher love to work. As a working dog, the Doberman is highly active and enjoys having a job to do. Just make sure this bundle of energy has enough space and gets enough exercise. The breed has been used as a police dog not only because it is smart and looks intimidating, but because it's fast. Dobermans can run up to 32 miles per hour, perfect for apprehending criminals on the run. The guard dogs were also used in the military and as service dogs because of their protective instincts. Their fierce reputation isn't deserved. While these dogs were bred to be aggressive and will defend you if provoked, they are a gentle and loving breed. Over the years they have had their toughness bred out of them, and, while they still have protective instincts, they also have a softer side. As long as they are trained properly and socialized from an early age, the Doberman can make a great family dog. They love to be involved with everything the family is doing and will enjoy cuddles with you and your kids. Doberman Pinscher were bred by a tax collector. The Doberman was bred by tax collector Herr Karl Louise Doberman from the town of Apolda. As a taxman Doberman was not popular, worked late shifts and carried a lot of money on him so, aware of the dangers his job presented him, he needed a guard dog to protect him, but he also wanted a companion by his side. The Doberman is one of the only dog breeds that has kept the name of its founder, although the double N at the end is often dropped. The breed is a bit of an unknown mix. Not much is known about the Doberman's ancestry or what breeds were bred to create this incredible working dog, but it is believed they originated from a mix of breeds including the German short-haired pointer, the Rottweiler, Weimaraner, Manchester Terrier, Great Dane, Boceron, Black and Tan Terrier, and Greyhound. The Doberman comes in four colors. The most common is black and tan, but it can also be found in fawn and tan, blue and tan, and liver and tan. Doberman Pinscher were the first canine war heroes. Dobermans were used in both the First and Second World Wars to help guard soldiers and seek out danger, such as mines. In 1994 at the Battle of Guam, a Doberman named Kurt became the first canine casualty of World War II. The brave mutt was killed by a grenade as he ran to warn troops about the approaching enemy. Kurt was the first dog buried in the United States Marine Corps War Dog Cemetery. Doberman Pinscher hate the cold. The short-haired Doberman has very little body fat, which makes it sensitive to the cold. If you are walking them in the cold you may want to take a doggy sweater. They are not fans of the cold or the rain and will often refuse to go out. But beware, it's not only the cold. When it's hot, heat stroke is common with this breed because of its black coat. Keep to the shade, mist your dog with water or bring a cooling vest. Doberman Pinscher Health Condition Although Dobermans are generally healthy, 
there are certain conditions that the breed is prone to. One of these is bloat, a life-threatening digestive condition that owners should learn the signs of and know what to do should it occur. Genetic health conditions that can affect the breed include hip dysplasia, dilated cardiomyopathy, enlarged heart, von Willebrand's disease, a clotting disorder, progressive retinal atrophy, albinism, and hypothyroidism. Responsible breeders screen their breeding stock for these health conditions via medical testing. Never purchase a puppy or dog from a breeder who has not genetically tested their breeding stock for these conditions. Recommended health tests from the National Breed Club, hip evaluation, cardiac exam, ophthalmologist evaluation, thyroid evaluation, von Willebrand's disease DNA test, Doberman Pinscher grooming need, although mostly a wash and wear breed, some routine grooming will help to keep the Doberman in optimal condition. A quick going over daily with a short bristled brush or a grooming mitt will keep his coat shiny and healthy. He does not need to be bathed often. He should have his nails trimmed at least monthly, and his teeth brushed regularly. The ears should be wiped out carefully every few days as little baby oil on a paper towel is good for this. Your veterinarian can show you how to clean your dog's ears to avoid damage and stay on top of potential issues. Doberman Pincher Exercise The Doberman is an energetic athlete who needs a lot of exercise and free play. A Doberman will enjoy going for long daily walks or hikes with his owner and having a large fenced area where he can run is vital for his physical and mental well-being. Participation in canine sports such as obedience, tracking, and agility will provide exercise for mind and body and fun times together for dog and owner. Doberman Pincher Training Dobermans are very intelligent, learn easily, respond quickly, and make loving and fun companions. However, they are very strong dogs and can become pushy, destructive, and unmanageable if not raised properly. Socialization starting in puppyhood is imperative, as is obedience training. Puppy training classes are highly recommended as well. It is every Doberman owner's responsibility to ensure that the dog is raised to be a happy, well-mannered companion and canine citizen. The Doberman should always live inside the home with his people, rather than outdoors. Doberman Pincher Nutrition Feeding an excellent quality dog food throughout his lifetime is critical for the Doberman. The Doberman puppy should be fed an age-appropriate diet approved by the dog's breeder or veterinarian. Treats can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. Learn about which human foods are safe for dogs, and which are not. Check with your vet if you have any concerns about your dog's weight or diet. Ample amounts of clean, fresh water should be available at all times. Doberman Pincher Know the Drill The first Doberman drill team was started by Tess Hensler. The military drill team was made up of 22 marching people and 18 well-trained Doberman Pinchers. They performed a march routine at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show in Madison Square Gardens, New York in 1959. The drill teams performed at various sporting events and celebrations and showed off the dog's agility and intelligence. It highlighted how hard they worked and offset their negative reputation. Their ears and tails were often docked. Dobermans are actually born with long tails and floppy ears and not the short tails and pointed, erect ears that they are known for. Because they were bred as guard dogs, their tails and ears were often cropped because these were thought to be too vulnerable to attack. Long tails and ears could be used to pull them to the ground. While this still happens today, the practice is controversial. It has been banned throughout most of Europe and the American Veterinary Association is also opposed to it. How much you like the video and the information please let us know in the comment box. We are very glad to be making this video. We will try to make a video with more facts soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share.